Hello, welcome to 21st Century Moses channel. My name is Sammy Ju. Let me ask you a question. Do we need to share the gospel with anyone? I mean, even people we don't want to talk with? What do you think? Let's find out. This week's theme is who we are. We are servants. And today's verse is from Romans 15, 16. Let's go to the first section, exposition. Read Romans 15, 16. To be a minister of Christ Jesus to the Gentiles in the priestly service of the gospel of God, so that the offering of the Gentiles may be acceptable, sanctified by the Holy Spirit. Now, this is what Paul is saying, that Paul is called to be the minister of Christ Jesus. But in the previous verse, in verse 15, it says, by God's grace. So not only we are saved by God's grace, but also by His grace, we are called. But in this case, it says, called to be a minister or servant of Christ Jesus to the Gentiles. So this is a very specific people group that Paul is addressing. That, you know, by God's grace, I became a servant of Christ Jesus. For whom? For to the Gentiles. Uh, what? In what? In which way? In the priestly service of the gospel. Now, what is it? It is offering the Gentiles. Of course, it's not sacrificing uh, Gentiles, but it is to lead Gentiles to Jesus Christ, that that may be acceptable through uh, sanctified by the Holy Spirit. So, uh, it is really showing that God's grace is calling us to the people, even if there are um, some people or someone that we do not normally hang out with. Paul boldly proclaimed to the gospel, the gospel to the Gentiles. He has a clear sense of audience whom he was reaching to. However, thinking of the historical context, ministering to the Gentiles was not without resistance within Jewish believers. We know that there was a tension between Jewish people and Gentiles. But Paul did not hide whom he was sent to, and even he described it as God's grace. Can you go to the people you would not normally hang out with? And can you call it even as a grace of God? We all have some people or even countries that we do not want to be friendly with because of historical tension or present uh, conflicts. However, when God calls us to go to the people, we are to go no matter who the people are. We need to share the gospel to lead those people to Jesus Christ. It is His job, God's job to save and sanctify them, but we need to share the gospel with anybody, even including those whom we do not feel like to do. Let's pray to see who we need to share the gospel and to lead whoever to Christ. By the way, how do you overcome the feeling when you share the gospel with someone you would not normally talk with? Please share your comments below. Remember the keywords here, minister, Gentiles, gospel. Main idea is God called Paul to be his minister to the Gentiles to share the gospel. Now remember uh, Romans 8.15. Do you remember that? We call God as Abba Father, right? Uh, he, we are his, that means we are his children. But in this verse, today 16, it, it, it even goes, it goes further that we are minister of Christ Jesus. So it is Romans 15, 16. Now read this verse three times out loud. Pause the video. And close your eyes and recite the verse word by word. Pause the video, please. Now let's fill in the blanks and check it. To be a of Christ Jesus to the in the priestly service of the of God, so that the offering of offering of the Gentiles may be acceptable, sanctified by the Holy Spirit. The answers are minister, Gentiles, and the gospel. And today's verse is yes, Romans fifteen sixteen. All right, great job. You memorized the sixty seven verses already. Please take a few minutes to review from day one. As you review them, please meditate on them. Pray over the verses that God would use you as you obey those verses. 
The verse you obeyed will be put in your heart and you will not forget it. You will experience tremendous blessing each day. Also, make sure to put your own emoji on 365 Empowerment Checklist on the description section below. Tomorrow, we'll learn about God trusting us. So click the like, but like button, hit subscribe, and click on the notification bell so you won't miss it. Also, watch the Day 67 video of 70 Days Journey to the Bible. Make sure to pray at least one hour after you read 17 chapters. Alright, that's it for today and looking forward to seeing you tomorrow.